Costs of fuel and transport are rising, which means the trickle-down effect will soon hit grocery stores and we'll be paying through the nose for food. But what if you could help mitigate rising costs? Take stock of your kitchen now by implementing these three easy changes that will help you stretch your budget through the coming months. They'll help maintain the family budget, assist with meal planning, and get you cooking much quicker than if you had to run to the store for ingredients. These easy tips will help you save money and give you a sense of safety and order if costs skyrocket. Number one, create a pantry. If we look back into bygone times, no home was without a place to store long life food. A pantry is a simple word, but it has such strong symbolism. Practically, it gives us a centralized space to keep our food. Emotionally, it creates a sense of logic and a feeling of order and cultivates a sense of security. Symbolically, it represents abundance and gratitude for what we have and gives us hope for the future. Creating a pantry is an exercise in frugality that we all can make use of these days. The trick is to start small and build your stocks. You don't need a large walk-in pantry filled to the ceiling with bottles of homemade preserves and pickles. Instead, a small linen cupboard or a few shelves in the garage can get you started. When we speak of pantries, we should mention that we are also talking about stocking the freezer with meat and frozen veggies, either bought or homegrown. Meat is usually one of the first things to rise in cost, so if you have space in the freezer, you will be able to ride the wave when prices are high. Keeping stocks of meat and vegetables works well with a cupboard pantry to help bulk up your everyday meals and provide diverse nutrients for your family. Number two, stock up on pulses, legumes, and canned food. Stocking up doesn't mean you need to spend a ton of money. Use the supermarket specials to buy a little bit every week to add to your pantry. This is how frugal people do it. They don't blow their money all at once and they're never caught without a can of something essential. Keeping an adequate stock of legumes and pulses can help provide nutrients and bulk to your meals. Stock your pantry with lentils, split peas, red kidney beans, chickpeas, and borlotti beans because they often have a long shelf life. They can be rehydrated in delicious soups, stews, and curries. A packet of red lentils is often a meal itself, don't forget to include long-life canned fish. Stocking cans of tuna, sardines, mackerel, and salmon in the pantry means you can make simple lunch wraps or delicious bakes. Number three, invest in a slow cooker or a heavy-based pot. Slow cooking helps break down nutrients and make foods easier for us to digest. Kitchen appliances such as a slow cooker are an excellent way to make a meal. A slow cooker allows you to cook at a low temperature over a long period, creating a beautiful aroma in the kitchen and letting you get on with other things. They are best known for helping prepare dishes such as stews, casseroles, and curries. These easy changes are an excellent way to take stock of your kitchen and make changes for the future. They are easy enough to implement over a weekend. They will help you live simply and frugally and cultivate a sense of resilience and security if costs become too high. If you want to learn more about frugal grandmother's recipes, watch these videos.